For me, family is, is, is not just my husband and my children. You know, yeah. when I married Steve, I married his family. And I absolutely adore my mother-in-law. Her name's Margaret. She's 81, 82 years old. And she has brought up a, an amazing son in, in yeah. Steve. And I think, look, she might not be with the modern times in everything and understand everything that I do, but she's a, a really remarkable woman. And I think if I needed a shoulder to cry on, I would go to her because mm. it's within the family. I don't want to wash my laundry out in, in public and go elsewhere, whatever. Is that the right saying, by the way? I don't I know. Think so. I think something. <laughs> It'll do. Is it? What is it? Like but but, but I, I just feel like she would, be, she would listen to me. But she's biased. You're well, married to her son. I know, but the thing is, I, for me, I, I don't think she is biased because in other situations when we've been together, she's actually pulled Steve up and said, well, no, I don't think that's wrong. Oh, that's so th for, for, on that basis, I know that she would be a person that I would take advice from. I'm, um, and, in and, theory, and I adore I love her. That. And I, and I for me, that's what family is about. Mm -hmm. I do love that, in theory. I would go to um, Joe's family and talk to them about anything else so I'd talk to them and ask them for advice with my own children I'd ask them for you know their support and a yeah. shoulder to cry on they're people who I, I love and that I know would always be there for me but I could not go to them if I had a problem with their son <laughs> yeah I could not go to Joe's mum and not moan but sort of you know, say, I'm not happy with this about Jo, because, because I just... he's perfect in her yeah, eyes. Well, but it's part um, of that informed by how you would... how you might think you'd feel if I think a girlfriend it's, yeah, of your boys It's more that. how I feel about my children, and I would really struggle to... I would struggle to take an objective view if my yeah. children's partner was coming up to me and saying, they're this, they're that, I'm having this problem, because well, I would... they were like that? Well, then I just... I just couldn't get involved. I would really struggle, because I wouldn't want to upset his partner, I wouldn't want to upset my son, I wouldn't want to be on but anybody's what about, side. what about if you're not necessarily going and, and, and saying anything particularly contentious, mm. but you're just reaching out and saying, look, well, you know him better than anyone else. What is it? How can I make him understand this? Or I don't know. It would just be a... I think no, people always remember. Maybe it's because of previous relationships that I've had that I feel that way, but I think that people always remember <laughs> any kind of <laughs> negative remarks that you make about the people that they love. And I always... In a different way. Yeah, yeah, and I always just feel that if I need advice as to something that's really upsetting me in my relationship, then I would try and find the most objective advice. Not my mum, not his mum, not my dad, mm. not my brothers or sisters. Somebody from completely outside the situation mm. to pull me back down to earth or him, mm. or you know, and to give us that... Don't you think it's yeah. really astonishing that Prince Philip ever gave out any marital advice. <laughs> when watching the Crown. What do you mean? With <laughs> anyone who watched The Crown knows that he is alleged, I'm saying alleged, to have spent a lot of his early years of his marriage to the Queen... On a boat. On a boat, <laughs> on a round-the-world trip that took almost a year yeah, with his best friend. That's probably why he's given advice, because he's been there and done that. Exactly. And he knows it doesn't work yeah, out so right. Listen, if Joe most... went off on a boat for a year, I'd be straight down to his mum's house. <laughs> 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 well, I, just think, I do think that it's interesting. I think that maybe he has learnt his lessons, and I think, you know, I certainly would reach out and have done to Mark's mum, and she would be the first to say that she has led a very sort of imperfect life. And I think because of that, she doesn't stand in judgment. Mm. She's not sort of prissily going, well, you know, the right way to behave is. Well, I regard um, all in-laws as the enemy, basically, <laughs> and I've had plenty of experience. I just think that from the minute you marry their son, you were on a no-win situation, <laughs> basically, because you're the one at fault. I mean, this has just been my experience. Maybe I am always the one at fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, maybe there's a difference between me and you, though, <laughs> No, but I don't you ever worry that you might... So, even if the, the, his mum was on my side, let's say, don't you ever worry you would then ruin their relationship? Because they might then have an argument over something that you've brought up. Listen, I think... I, th I, I get what you're saying. I think if you're going to go to a parent and say really negative stuff, I wouldn't recommend that at all. But if you're reaching out to another person that loves them and knows them well yeah. and you're feeling a bit lost and saying, look, how can I, how can I make this work, then why not? And I think, I think there is something in what you're saying, Janet. I think the fact that you do think of all in-laws immediately as a disaster area, they no, probably will be that. 
Whereas I I, I'm them. more, I'm more with you, well, and I think maybe that's a cultural but, thing. Yeah, but also, it's an extension. Yeah, of the but family. also, but also, Steve's mum and dad. You know, Steve's mum and dad. The children have fled the nest. They've got grandchildren, and it's part of me keeping them involved in our life. Yeah. You know, even just little things. Sometimes it just feels that they're part of the family. You know, mm. and and I think that's really important. I feel like you're a cousin. I yeah. <laughs>